Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. My name is Leonardo. I am the sales manager here at Make Money Coaching Sports. So welcome back to this new video. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that our success coaches are putting out on a regular basis. So if you're in soccer, if you're in basketball, if you're in swimming or aquatics, if you're in sports performance, right? Every single day and every single week, we're putting out content which is designed to help you with your business in whatever sport you're currently in. So if you get to the end of this video and you want to get on a, a, a free call with me, right? What I do is every single day I'm speaking to coaches and I offer these free 15 to 20 minute calls where I can see where coaches are currently at with their business. Right, so if this is something you might be interested in, in doing, visit the calendar in the description of this video. You can click on it and schedule your free 15 to 20 minute call with me. Well, we jump on a Zoom call and I ask you a couple of questions to see where you currently are with your business, where you wanna to get to, and I can give you some actionable steps to take this week with your business. Now, if you don't want to go down that route and you simply want to send me a, an email, you can do that as well. Very simple. Send the email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay. Once I receive it, you'll get a response within 24 hours of, of me reading the email. Okay. I make it a mission every single day to respond to every single coach that reaches out uh, to our company. So let's get straight into it, right? Today, I want to talk about how you can get more committed clients into your program. So by more committed clients, I mean clients that are staying with you for three, six or 12 months. Now, currently what most coaches are doing, they're running their business on a sporadic basis, which means that what they're doing with their, their clients and customers is they're they're receiving a cash in hand or parents are paying them via Vinmo. So what they'll do is they'll reach out to, to their client list on a, on a Sunday evening and they'll send out available time slots for their upcoming week. The parent is choosing which times works for them. Great. And then on the day of the session, right, there's no upfront payment. All payments are done after the session. Now there's a couple of issues and problems with this right number one is if the parent is in a rush right they've dropped off their child and you've trained the child you've had a fantastic session and then the, the parent arrives at your session and they forgot the money right now what you have to do is you have to now follow up with that parent to make sure they pay you Okay, and ultimately what happens is it gets to a point where you don't really want to follow up with people and, and chase people for money. Okay, right? It, it almost sounds like you, you're becoming a debt collector. Right? You don't want to be chasing parents for money. But that's one of the problems that you will face when you run your business on a paper, paper session model. Okay, parents will turn up to your sessions, drop their child off and go. Right? And also... Another problem which I've, I've encountered and I've also seen with coaches is that parents don't even get out the car to pick up their child. They'll stay in the car, the child will finish the session, little Jimmy will walk off, get in the car and head out. And you haven't made any contact with a parent at all, which means that you're hoping that they make the payment into your account. Okay, Or you have to again follow up with them to make sure that they pay you. So this is really, really annoying, okay? And this is not the, the type of payment model or payment system that we want to be implementing into our business because ultimately it's not gonna get us results long-term with clients. Now, when you have more committed clients, and this is something we teach at our company, is your clients will be in your program for three, six, or 12 months, okay? They're either paying you month to month online via a subscription model, or 
Okay, your, your clients are paying you upfront for the three, six or 12 months. Now, both models works, right? The first one, uh, which is the subscription, means that you're not having to ask parents for money. You have a payment system in place, which is uh, grabbing the money for you. It's taken the money from your client's account and it's paying you into your into your business account, right? There's a lot of software out there that can do that for you, but simply parents pay online and then you can set up a month to month subscription with them where you guys can agree on a certain day that the money is coming out for that training, right? So what you have to do is you just focus on, on the training and delivering great results for your client. That's the first one. Then the second one, uh, upfront payments, which is one I encourage and I prefer is an upfront. So parents are paying upfront for three, six or 12 months. And that way you've grabbed all the money, right? You've collected all the money and you don't have to go back and sell clients on continuing in your program or worrying about whether their, their card is going to bounce because there's no money in their account or talking to parents about money, right? Once they've paid up front for that training, it's all done and ultimately, right, you've been paid, okay? So how do we go from a pay per session model into either a subscription or an upfront payment system, okay? It's really easy and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna put it in, in a scenario where you can get give yourself an idea how this is going to work right so say i'm a business owner i have a website right a parent has now landed on my website they've applied to work with me first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get in contact with that prospect i'm going to either send them an email or I'm going to send them a text message. Now, what I would encourage is I would encourage a text message, right? It's a lot more personal and parents are always on their phone, right? They've, their phone is, uh, is everywhere. Wherever the parent goes, their phone goes with them. So I would send them a text message, say, hi, Mrs. Jones, thanks for applying for our program. I would love to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call with you to discuss the next steps uh, to, that we need to take in order for your child to join our, our program. Okay, so the parent will then text you back. You guys go, you guys agree on a set day, set time. Okay, now ideally what we wanna do is we wanna transition that call onto Zoom. Okay, so when you are one-to-one -one with a parent on Zoom, there's a lot of benefits to, to a Zoom call rather than a phone call, right? A phone call, a parent could be at home making dinner and on the phone to you. And really and truly, they're not really paying attention. Over a Zoom call, right, you can both have the camera on and you're both looking at each other and you can see that the parent is paying attention to what you're asking, okay? So we want to text the parent, right? So the application has come in. We want to reach out to the parent to text them. Then we want to get them onto a Zoom call, right? Now the fourth step is now we want to make sure that we have a script in place with lots of good questions to ask that parent, okay? And these questions have to be specific to their child, okay? And it has to, you have to try and get to the the, the the area or the pain point that that parent is having, right? So you ultimately, the questions you're asking needs to kind of go in the direction of why has that parent reached out for your help, okay? So what I ideally do is I encourage coaches to have at least five to seven questions that you can ask the parent, all specific to their child. And then what we do from there is based on the data now we have from those questions answered, we can then go ahead and book them in for an evaluation session with you. 
Now, what I encourage coaches to do is be very smart with allowing or accepting parents to come to an evaluation session, right? Based on the answers that you got, that you've been given, will give you an idea whether this this kid, right, will be a good fit for your program. Now, some coaches, what they like to do is after that call, they will say to the parent, right, I'll be in contact with you in the next 24 hours to give you a response and to give you a bit of feedback towards uh, the call. So after you've asked the questions, instead of committing yourself to that client for the evaluation session, what we say is that we will be in contact with you within 24 hours to invite your child to an evaluation session. Okay. Now, what that does is once you're on that call and you're taking notes, you're gaining lots of information, then after the call, you can sit down and study your notes and say to yourself, right, this is what that child needs help with. Do I have the time and can I provide re the, the results for them? Okay, if you can get results for their child, then straight away we can we can respond back. We can send them a text message to say, right, your application has been successful. Now I would like to invite uh, Lil Jimmy to an evaluation session this coming Monday at 7 p.m., for example. Okay. Now, what I would encourage is to have parents go through a an online booking system where parents are booking online for your evaluation session so once you have had your call with them right now you've got all the information 24 hours have gone by you've said to yourself okay do you know what i want to invite this player to the eval you can send them a text message saying your application has been uh, successful we would like to invite jimmy for a free evaluation session or you can just say evaluation session and then at the bottom you can say to book your evaluation session please visit the link below okay now on that link that can take you onto your website where they can book it either for free or you can have a fee in place where they're paying i don't know it could be five dollars ten dollars could be fifty dollars Right, and they're paying that online before they get to the session. Right, and you can make it clear to them that you must book before you attend the evaluation session. If you do not book before the evaluation session, you will the application will ultimately become unsuccessful. Right, so I want to break this down again. Right, we have parent applies for the program. We then text the parent to get on a a 20 minute call with us. Ultimately, we get that call onto Zoom where we, we then ask the parent questions specific to their child. We then thank that, child, uh, that parent for their time and we say to them, right, you will hear back from us within 24 hours whether your application has been successful. Within 24 hours, then we text the parent again with all the information for the next steps. Now, if the application hasn't been successful, then we can send them a text message saying, um, Hi, Mr. Jones, thank you so much for taking the time to jump on our call. After reviewing your application and after reviewing the answers that you provided to us on our Zoom call, we feel that your child is not the right fit for our program at this moment in time. What you can say to them and finish it off is in three, six or 12 months time, we will get back in contact with you to see whether you are still interested in training with us. Okay. Now, if they are successful, then you lead them onto the, the a booking page, which is online. And then once they've booked, then you bring them on to an evaluation session. Okay, so what I'm going to do is in an upcoming video, I'm going to talk about what's the next steps to take once the client has got to the evaluation session. Now, 
The secret to commitment is going through a process. If a parent is fully committed to your program, they will go through your step-by-step -step process. If they believe that that process is too long, they haven't got enough time, then ultimately, do you know what? That's going to do you a favor and that's going to save you a lot of headache and wasteful time going to that evaluation session and working with a client that ultimately is not committed to your program. Okay. What we want to do, we don't want to work with every single kid in, in our area, right? We want to work with committed clients that are, are going through your, your process step by step and they're committing to you, to your training, to your business long term. Okay. So if you need more help with Okay, like I said at the beginning of this video, there's two ways you can do that. First of all, reach out to me via email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Send me your questions. Or if you want to schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call where I can talk to you about this process and how to get your clients more committed uh, for the long term. Okay, go to the Calendly link in the description and you can, you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me through there. All right, so thank you for watching and stay tuned to for an upcoming video okay where i'm going to talk through the next steps once we have the client at the evaluation session what are now the next steps we need to do in order to get that client committed and closed into our program okay thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video